moment of peace is gone, but the quest for peace lies before us. Millions of people woke up this morning to take a shower, get dressed, go to work, do their daily routine. But had the Secretary General of the UN not take a stand to promote peace, life may be very different for the world. The setting is in Central Africa in the late 1950s. While some people think the Katanga province should have seceded, after all, Dag Hammarskjöld prevented World War III while in office as Secretary General of the UN. Dag Hammarskjöld was born on July 29, 1905 in the Swedish city of Jönköping. He grew up in Uppsala, Sweden with his parents and three brothers. From an early age, he showed strong promises in the area of leadership. He earned degrees from two universities. Before he became the second Secretary General of the United Nations, he held many positions related to the Swedish government, such as the Secretary of the Riksbank, Cabinet Secretary for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and was Vice Chairman to the Swedish Delegation to the United Nations General Assembly in Paris in 1951. Hammarskjöld completely reorganized the UN system. He was also known as the shuttle diplomat because he would go to the front lines and talk with the leaders of both sides. So his job as Secretary General was really to keep, to be in the middle and to keep a balance between all of the different countries that we had during the time period and keep that international peace. There were many important events occurring in the time period of DAG's impact. In 1945, the U.S. drops an atomic bomb named Fat Man on Hiroshima, eventually leading to the end of World War II, leading to the creation of the U.N. 1950, the Korean War begins. 1951, U.S. gets color TV. Three years later, no more segregation in schools. 1957, the Space Age begins, with Sputnik in Russia. And in 1959, Alaska and Hawaii become states. Also, Castro takes over Cuba. With all of these events and thriving technology, including the Cold War, the United Nations played an even more important role in world peace and keeping war at bay. This is where Dag Hammarskjöld comes in. Dag's stand began with the UN. As Secretary General, Dag was a key player in peace treaties including Israel and the Arab states. He also negotiated the release of 11 U.S. pilots from China. His greatest stand came when he pushed for a truce in the Katanga province and Congo. This involved the British, Russians, and U.S. all involved in the center of Africa with all kinds of mineral resources. His peace negotiations prevented World War III. What? was so interesting and rare about the area and all of the major figures and all of the major countries of the time period were go we were trying to make the nuclear bombs and we all wanted the resources and very uniquely down in that section they had the uranium and the copper the democratic republic of the congo was having a crisis the Katanga Crisis, as it is known, started in 1960. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the Katanga province had found out it had important minerals of uranium and copper that were useful in making military bombs. When they discovered this, the leaders of the Katanga province decided to secede from its mother country. The result was an uproar. Dog's mission was to keep peace and prevent the resources from falling in the wrong hands. He took a stand against major world powers, such as Russia and Britain, then laid the foundation for unity in the Congo. 
Without his peace efforts, uranium could have fallen into the wrong hands and been used in World War III. The entire world, no one really knew at the time period what, was, what could possibly happen no matter which country was able to get the atomic bomb. And, and now in hindsight, we've totally seen what can happen in the, the bombs that were, that were dropped in Japan actually came, those supplies came from there. Um, and I think we've learned that as a lesson through history in like World War I and World War II, and then the creation of the United Nations and the fact that they have special committees and special organizations and agencies within that structure that isolate and target certain issues and interests that we have across the globe. Dag Hammarskjöld died on a mysterious plane crash flying to Zambia on a diplomatic mission. The UN reopened the investigation of his death in 2014, suspecting foul play. Some evidence suggests his plane was shot down. After his death, Dag Hammarskjöld was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. He is one of four people to earn the prize after they died. Even former U.S. President John F. Kennedy called Dag Hammarskjöld the greatest statesman of our century. He said, I realize now that in comparison to him, I am a small man. Life for the rest of the world, it is how it is today. People's daily life would be completely different if this one man had not taken a stand. His impact will be remembered for centuries to come because of his work with the UN. Dag Hammarskjöld is dead, but the United Nations lives.